Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Boric, and a pleasant special thanks to those of you that have subscribed to support. Please continue to subscribe down below to keep showing your love and support. Really love and appreciate you all for it. This is going to be a recap of our Reading Royals not really showing up last night and losing 4-1 to up there in Adirondack as they take on the same Adirondack Thunder team that I will be doing a preview for later this afternoon for that game this evening. But <clears throat> Kaplan came down only two minutes into the game, was able to set the tide for the Anirondack Thunder. Akru Ustamenko looks like he's still adjusting, coming back from an injury, obviously, during all of last year. Only played a couple games overseas in the last entire, like, basically over 365 days until this season. So he still seems to be adjusting, getting his speed back. Hopefully, after getting hit at the end of the game, too, he has no wear effects from that. Um, so hopefully we pray that Usti's going to be able to be okay from that as well. And then Rycheck, he just went through the entire defense. That was an unassist, or that was an unassisted goal. Masunas got the assist on Kaplan's first goal. As it seems like guys just score the first goal through the Flyers' entire organization, whether it's the Reading Royals, Lehigh Valley Phantoms, or the Philadelphia Flyers themselves. Um. Grasso was then able to get one on a bad turnover. I'm pretty sure it was Crocock that turned it over, but it was just a bad turnover in front of the net. Nothing Usti was able to do there. He was hung out to dry. And then Masunas, who picked up an assist on the Kaplan goal, was able to seal it with an empty netter, where our only goal was on a nice pass by Morrison to Ebbing, where Ebbing was able to put it in. And then Mason Millman, who was a guy that's pretty much down with Reading more for a conditioning stint, played very good thus far in his stint with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, especially last season, um, and then played two se or two seasons, two games before going out this season. So it was nice to see him come in and get an assist and step up on the play, had a couple shots in the game as well. So it was nice to see him have a solid overall game, and then Morrison was good as well as a plus one and one <clears throat> assist on the assist, and then Millman had two shots um, with the one assist. Those, that was about all when it comes to the offense, as well as Ebbing, who, of course, scored the goal. Everybody else, when it came to the start of the game, Rychik has to get one for just going through the entire defense there. Kaplan has to get one for setting the tone early. And then um, when it comes to other players in this game, I would just say, so I give one to our Reading Royals. He came in and immediately made an impact. I'm just going to give it to Millman for coming in and stepping up on the play a little bit looking like the solid overall defenseman he is and really making a like name like just stepping in right away and really making a name for himself on the ice and looking like one of the better guys on the ice last night coming out for us in a bad game overall this is not the game we wanted to see at all from the Royals got out shot 13 to 6 then 13 to 10 then got killed in the third period when you were able to yes get the one goal but 20 to 11 in shots, not enough possession game throughout this entire game. Anaranda came out with Kaplan and set the tempo early and then just never looked back. Our Reading Royals need to recover tonight and need to play a much cleaner game. You can't have sloppy turnovers like they had on the third goal. And you can't just let Kai skate right around you uh, like they practically had on the first two goals. It's going to be interesting to see. I would think Hayden Hawkey will be playing in a back-to-back -back where they have to travel back down uh, the the highway anyway to come back here, but we'll have to see, and hopefully Kirill is okay, since apparently he was put on the reserve list for getting over some bugaboo injury, or not not injury, but just being banged up a little bit, and then he was activated again, of course, because Nagel was called back up, but this has been a quick recap of the Reading Royals 4-1 to unfortunate loss last night, as we look to rebound tonight against the same Adirondack Thunder. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and enjoy the rest of the season.